Smoke from the fires burning to the west of us is drifting east, causing health and air quality concerns. Live look outside right now from our tower camera at Mount Vaca. You can really see all that haze in the air from the wildfire smoke. And that smoke has many wondering just how serious this can be for your health and are there any long term consequences? CBS 13's Kelly Ryan is live in East Sacramento and she has more on this story. We just did an interview with a guy on television just now and he was wearing a mask and we're seeing a lot more of those, right? And it's interesting that uh, Christina should point out the air quality and what you're looking at. Some pictures there where I am here in East Sacramento. Things have, have cleared up because the wind has increased. Now that's great for air quality here, not so great for those fires. But all day long, we've been hearing from people talking about that thick, heavy smoke that settled into the valley. Uh, we've seen an increase in our patients calling us, asking us questions, coming into the office with breathing problems. Dr. Walter Shakespeare is a lung doctor at Kaiser who says California fires are leaving residents with a variety of symptoms. You can have uh, itchy, watery eyes, uh, nasal uh, stuffiness and running, irritation, sore throat. Even in areas away from fire zones, like the Sacramento region, where a thick haze has settled in and is causing problems. My throat a little bit towards the back feels a little funny. Dr. Shakespeare and other medical professionals say on days like this, it's better to go from exercising outdoors to indoors. Indoors? Is that what they're recommending? And it's not just children, older adults, and people with asthma or breathing problems. People in general should avoid any contact with smoke if they can, stay inside, turn the air conditioners on, make sure their filters are appropriately changed, uh, not exercise or walk outdoors at all because any amount of uh, damage or inf inflammation in the lungs can be harmful. And that even includes pets. If you do go outside, the proper mask is important. Emphasis on proper. It's unfortunate, but uh, the level of um, air filtering that you get with a wet bandana or wet mask doesn't particularly take out those very small particulates. And in terms of the kind of damage you get when you're breathing in smoky air, traveling from area fires? Over time, with repeated amounts of uh, exposure to smokes, dust, chemicals, you can have lung damage. But in the short period like this, it's very uncommon for that to happen. So a little bit of good news there. Now about those masks you guys are talking about, we've seen a variety of them. I know when I was in Santa Rosa two days ago uh, during the start of those fires, I was using a mask that was rather flimsy. We had picked up at a store. They, they had sold out of them. Uh, the doctor today tells me to look for this kind of mask with the two straps on it. It's called an N95, and you can see it right on the mask. Uh, if you can find this kind of mask, it's the best seal for your face. And again, which I didn't do the first day, which I learned rather quickly, the metal part goes up on your nose. It's there to seal it for a tight fit. This is one, what you want to look for. And we're not talking this is what you need for the fires right next to you. On smoky days, this is what you need right here in Sacramento. And the doctor's, not say, the doctor's telling me not just for folks with any kind of compromising or compromised immunity conditions, Anyone needs this because it can filter out the millions, he says, particles in the air that can be chemicals and smoke and all the things coming from all those burned down buildings and houses from the fire. All right. Well, those things will be at a premium in a lot of places, right? Okay. Oh, yeah. Kelly, thanks a lot. Uh, in East Sacramento for us, let's head to Dave right now and talk more about it out there. I mean, I, I saw one reading today where they said there's, the air quality is just off the charts. It's so bad. Unprecedented. Yeah. West side of the valley over toward Vacaville, uh, above 200. You're in the very unhealthy range. And right now, for the most part, in the unhealthy range. Now, like real estate, it's location, location, location. This wind shift is actually moving the particulate matter around. But on average, the bad areas have been right around 200 in the Central Valley. But do notice, with more northwest winds tomorrow, the Central Valley is going to be in the moderate range. But if you're on the receiving end of the bottom end of the wind shift and getting that smoke, you're probably going to be in the unhealthy range. And definitely around fires, you're going to be dealing with that no matter what the wind direction is. You're going to have smoke right on top of you. Northerly winds, that's what we're dealing with right now compared to the onshore flow from yesterday. And we are seeing some gusts, as you can see out there. Have seen some gusts getting close to 25 to 30 around Santa Rosa. And that's blowing, of course, everything straight down 
into the Calistoga area, and that's why they've got those issues. And you'll have uh, more on the evacuations and everything going on with that situation over toward the west. And you can see the winds just howling down the coast as well. Well, we're going to start to see those back off a little bit, but we're going to have to wait about another day for that to occur. The good news is with this low coming down, temperatures are in the 70s as opposed to the 80s and 90s. Also, with this wind coming down, it's only gusting to 30 miles per hour as opposed to the 40, 50 plus that we saw over the weekend. So I'm trying to give you some good news. That's about the best we can do. It's cooler air, it's less wind, and it's one more day at this point of a red flag warning, at least until tomorrow afternoon at about 5 o'clock for the areas you see in red for northerly winds and dry conditions, but not high temperatures. That's the best part of this. We're only going to be in the 70s. Back over to you. We'll have more details on your seven day here in a bit. David, thanks a lot. We'll see you soon.